And welcome back here in our tropical paradise. Some researchers uh, would or are doing their studies in the cold. Rare tropical permafrost occurs near Mauna Kea summit, but the patches of frozen snow or soil are now shrinking over time. To explain, we have uh, joined by Dr. Norbert Schorfhofer, or Schorfhofer from the Planetary Science Institute. Thank you very much for joining us this morning. It's great to be here. Tell us first about Mauna Kea. Uh, how much snow is there? Is there areas that we're talking about when we're talking about permafrost? Well, so this year was actually a lot of snow. Um, there still is some left, um, but that's um, a bit unusual. So we have snow usually uh, uh, every year, but the, the permafrost is like frozen, uh, you know, all year round, and it's it's under the surface, so you you can't really see it from the surface. Okay, is there a point where with climate change that that could change and we might not have permafrost or we might not have snow? Absolutely, the permafrost uh, is melting. We, we figured out that much. Uh, in the long term, the snow is also projected to disappear, more like end of the century, but the permafrost, yeah, we, we're just looking at decades or, or less. Decades or less? Yes. Wow, so that permafrost, even though that we don't see it, it's still there. And so that melts, that's part of what becomes groundwater? Yeah, well, it, it, the amount of groundwater creates is, is, is tiny, but I mean, it's just this old, old ice body. You know, it's, it's frozen ice. And, and somebody in the early 70s documented it, so we know how, how large it was back then. And now it, it has shrank. So it used to be, like, you know, 25 yards long, now it's 11 yards long. It used to be 11 yards deep, now it's five yards deep. So it's shrinking, has shrunk from all directions. Uh, over the last half century. What does this mean if that permafrost is gone? What does that mean? Well, most of the permafrost in Monarchy already has disappeared, and, and there may have been some slope erosion, uh, you know, um, slumping and, and so on. But uh, mostly I think it, it's already gone, and there's only these two, two, two patches left. Is it inevitable? I mean, is there nothing we can do to reverse that? <laughs> you, you could protect it with, you know, placing white tarps on it, but you'd have to do it for 10,000 years. Okay. <laughs> so, it, it's no lasting way uh, to prevent it from melting. Is there any negatives, big negatives, from having that permafrost no longer there? Um, as far as we know, it doesn't have any major impacts on, on the environment. Um, but it is sort of a remnant of a past, of a distant past. And, um, you know, it's just sad to see it go. It's part of the future that we seem to be building. Yeah, well, the, the, you know, air temperatures keep going up and up and up and, and faster and faster. So, um, yeah, there, there's going to be a lot of change. Okay. So this is just some of the things that we are tracking when it comes to our Hawaii ne. So permafrost, once again, may become history on top of Mauna Kea. We'll have more for you. Let's go ahead and uh, if you want to see this interview again, you can go ahead to hawaiinewsnow.com and check on it afterwards. Thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you.